Hi everyone, I'm Jason Lawler, founder of Lawler Pickups here. And I'm Mike Wool. I work in customer service at Lawler Pickups. In this video series, we're going to be talking about some of the more common questions we get from customers, and breaking down how guitar electronics function. We'll also wade through years of form fodder to sift out the truth from the myths to help you be better equipped with the information you need to choose the best components for your individual needs. So Jason, before we jump in, is there anything you'd like to clear up just in general about capacitors, misconceptions about values possibly? Well, in a typical tone control on a guitar, what the capacitor is doing is it's taking some of your high frequencies and passing them to ground. And it's not allowing all your high frequencies to remain. So the higher the value of the capacitor, the more high frequencies it dumps and the lower the value of the capacitor, the less of the high frequency it dumps. Mm, got it. First and foremost, we want to talk about what capacitors do. And what they do is act like a low pass filter. The value of the capacitor determines a cutoff point above which frequencies are sent through to ground and you don't ever hear them coming out of your amplifier. We're often asked about right and wrong cap values and the answer is that there isn't one. Your circuit's still going to work with a 0.015 or 0.047. There are conventions based on the history of guitar building, for instance, that a Strat or a Tele, a bright sounding, typically Ash or Alder guitar with single coil pickups, will be paired with a 0.047 capacitor. And the reason for that is these bright sounding instruments can benefit from having a wider range of the high frequencies able to be rolled off. Ultimately, what it comes down to is that a Strat will still work with 500k pots and a 0.015 capacitor, just like a Les Paul will still function with 250k pots and 0.047 caps. Player preference, what sounds good to you, that's what determines if something is the right or wrong component. In this video, we're going to focus on comparing cap value, because that value is what sets the cutoff point above which frequencies are rolled off to ground. We'll talk about materials in another video in the future. So another question that we're asked all the time is uh, the difference between brands, you know, premium versus more pedestrian components. And what you're really paying for there is better manufacturing, you know, tighter tolerances and a lower fail rate. It's not an objectively better sound. It's just a little uh, better built. So let me tell you a little bit about the setup that we've got going on here. This wire right here is soldered to the volume pot where one leg of the capacitor would typically be. This one is soldered to the tone pot where the other leg of the cap would typically be. What this allows us to do is in real time swap out different cap values without having to pull this plate and solder them into place. This will allow us to get an A, B, C comparison between these three caps. By connecting these two alligator clips to one another, we've created a short circuit effectively removing the tone control and giving us two volume knobs. So, my volume knob does exactly what you'd expect it to. And now my tone knob, or what should be my tone knob, does the exact same thing. We're going to start with 0.015 and work our way up from there. So another question that we're frequently asked about is, uh, are capacitors directional? The answer is some are, but guitar capacitors, you can solder either leg to either lug and it'll work just fine. So let's see what it sounds like 100% open. Now we'll roll it back till it's about 75% or so. We'll go to about 50. Now about 25. That's one of the things that a lot of people like about the 0.015 value is that you have pretty useful sounds everywhere on the sweep of the knob. Now we'll put in a 0 0.022. 
All right, let's hear it. That was 100% open. Now let's go down to about 75. To about 50%. To about 25%. And now all the way down. All right, now let's try out the 0.047. So that was 100% open. Now we'll go to about 75%. Now about 50%. About 25%. Now all the way. You hear how much darker that is than either the previous two? It's just rolling off more and more high frequencies. So as we've seen, the guitar works just fine with all three cap values, and really this points to the idea that the value is subjective in terms of working towards what you want your tone knob to do. For instance, if you're a jazz player and you lean heavily on warm, mellow sounds, the 0.015 cap doesn't roll off enough of the high end to really get that. The ability to roll off more of the high end is why a lot of jazz players who lean on those mellow sounds like the 0.047. On the other hand, the 0.015 provided useful sounds everywhere on the tone knob sweep, allowing greater precision for dialing in the sound that you want. For players that want to split the difference, there's the 0.022. It won't roll off quite as much as the 0.047 will, and it won't be quite as precise as the 0.015, but it's a good way to get the best of both worlds. Again, all that we talked about today was different cap values. Things like cap materials we'll explore in a future video. In the meantime, if you have any questions about pots, caps, pickups, or anything else that we do, you can email us at info at And thanks again for tuning in.